queen consort Camilla's hands were spotted shaking on live television as she signed the visitor's book at the Scottish Parliament. She could be seen firmly gripping the pen as she marked her signature in the book. Both King Charles III and his wife signed the book, described as important for the archives of the Parliament. A portrait of the Queen was seen behind the couple, looking down on them. The portrait of the late monarch was commissioned by the Scottish Parliament to mark its 10th anniversary. It is not the first time that Camilla's shaking hands has prompted concern. Back in March, royal fans were left concerned after noticing the Queen Consort's shaky hand at an event for International Women's Day IWD. Just in, no, I'm going to carry them Meghan caught in awkward spat with aide Queen Consort Camilla's hands were spotted shaking on live television, image, Sky News, the signing followed an emotional ceremony in Holyrood, image, Sky News, the signing followed an emotional ceremony in Holyrood, where the Scottish Parliament issued a motion of condolence. Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon started the motion by telling MSPs and the King, in a never-changing and often turbulent world, Her Majesty has been our constant, she has been the anchor of our nation. Douglas Ross, the leader of the Scottish Conservative Party, was next to pay tribute. He said, We don't just commemorate the reign of our Queen but also celebrate the life of a woman who many in Scotland knew and loved who dedicated her life to her country, to duty, and to serving others. Charles followed the Holy Rood ceremony by returning to St Giles Cathedral, image, Getty, Scottish Labour Party leader Anas Sarwar added that first and foremost the Queen was a mother. Responding to the motion, Charles said, through all the years of her reign, the Queen, like so many generations of our family before her, found in the hills of this land, and the hearts of its people, a haven and a home. My mother felt as I do, the greatest sense of admiration for the Scottish people. And it was the greatest comfort for her to know the true affection in which she was held. Don't miss, Angela Levin joins growing calls for Camilla's title to drop consort, interview the Queen's favorite tiaras Camilla could never wear, pictures, US TV host sparks fury after demanding Charles address reparations, video, trending the crowd outside loudly applauded Charles, Anne, Andrew, Edward, Camilla and Sophie, image, Getty, less than a year ago. King Charles was at Holyrood for the royal opening of a new term of Parliament alongside his late mother. Charles followed the Holyrood ceremony by returning to St Giles Cathedral to hold a vigil for the late monarch. He was joined by his siblings Princess Anne and Princess Andrew and Edward, as the four of them positioned themselves at each side of the coffin to briefly stand guard. He previously stood carried out a similar vigil at the funeral of the Queen Mother in 2002. Following the vigil, the crowd outside loudly applauded Charles, Anne, Andrew, Edward, Camilla, and Sophie, Countess of Wessex, as they left St Giles. Read next, Sophie Wessex beautiful in elegant look at Queen Elizabeth's service King Charles heartbreaking comment to royal photographer Piers Morgan urges Prince Harry to reign in wife Meghan Markle Harry's condolences were no doubt sincere, but they were too late Angela Levin joins growing calls for Camilla's title to drop consort, 